Mark Groening is a cartoonist. And if you've ever seen his brief cartoon feature, Life in Hell, then you know just what a strange character he must be. But strange is just not the word to use for his animated cartoon, The Simpsons. It's been appearing on the Tracy Ullman Show for a couple of years now, and it is so popular that it is soon to become the first full-length animated cartoon feature to hit primetime since the Flintstones. In a major million-dollar gamble, Fox TV has scheduled a full half-hour cartoon to boost its Sunday night lineups. Marge! Marge! Make no mistake, this cartoon isn't just for kids. Fox is squeezing the Simpsons in between America's Most Wanted and the controversial Married with Children. This is a show what we're trying to do is entertain adults. It's going to have enough smart stuff in it so that adults will, if they give it a chance, if they, oh, cartoon, uh, uh, if they give it a chance, I think they'll be entertained, and I think kids will like it, too. Over here, we have the typical monkey family. It's an American family at its wildest. <laughs> <laughs> The Simpsons are far from Bill Cosby's Huxtables and no match for the Keatons. This bug-eyed, bickering family has been dubbed the All-American Family in all its horror. Bart, why don't you get out there and mow the lawn right now? Actor Dan Castellata plays the voice of Homer, the dad. <laughs> Homer is trying to be the All-American father, but he's a, real, he's a real failure at it. Marge, the wife? does her best to keep the family from strangling each other. Bart Simpson, he'd like to get along, but somehow he's forced to uh, uh, be annoying. This he's torn the between the desire to entertain and the desire to annoy. Lisa, the younger sister, is uh, the sensitive, gifted, genius child in the family and, of course, completely ignored. And Maggie is the baby who only communicates by sucking her pacifier. That's the sound. Now, this isn't like a sitcom. I don't think where you're going to be able to say, okay, in the first five minutes, I know what's going to happen. In the second five, 10, 15 minutes, um, we're really trying to take lots of twisty turns in this thing. Sometimes we don't know where it's going. The Flintstones were the last memorable primetime cartoon series to make a hit on the airwaves. The Simpsons creators are dreaming of the same success. Right after this interview, I'm going to run back to the office and work until late tonight. I'm trying to make this really funny. And by all appearances, it will be. Smile. Look cheerful. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Why, you little... <laughs> Matt Groening really likes the idea of having The Simpsons paired with Married with Children, the wildly popular program on the Fox Network. That's because he believes that the Bundy family is a lot more cartoonish than his very own Simpson family.